Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, PhD to MD. I'm currently working as a postdoc at Harvard and I plan to become a medical doctor in the US. I'm using this channel to document my journey and also to share everything I know about research, medical school, personal development and finance, and hopefully it'll be helpful to you to some extent as well. Today, I would like to share my experience of finding a postdoc position at Harvard while doing my PhD overseas and some strategies and tips that I think may be helpful. This may be applicable to those who are doing PhD, MD, or considering of doing these programs and are looking for a postdoc position at your ideal place to proceed to academia setting in the future. Background about me is that I did my PhD at an overseas institution outside of the US. And when I started my PhD, I set my goal at a Harvard lab, which has the same research interests as I do. During my second year of my PhD, there was one faculty member who did his postdoc at Harvard asking me whether I started to look for postdoc positions. And I told him that I haven't, but I really hope that I could join the Harvard group. So he told me that timeline wise, it will be good to start to look for postdoc positions one year before I graduate. But if I aim for something very specific, I may have a higher chance if I go there for an exchange during my PhD and get to know the people first. Because just emailing them internationally without knowing them, even if I have a referral, um, the chances may not be very high simply because they have too many candidates and they don't know me. And to make the exchange happen, if I could found myself, um, the success rate might be higher. So I thought that, well, this is a great idea. And luckily at my PhD institution, they have this policy that we can bring our scholarship overseas if we decide to do an exchange program. The stipend was not a lot, but good enough to cover my expenses in Boston every month. So I started to talk with people who did their postdocs in Harvard or may have a direct relationship with that lab and ask that whether I could CC them in the email when I write to the PI and ask for an exchange position. And luckily they did. So I went to Harvard during my third year of my PhD for a six-month exchange program. Before I went for my exchange, my PhD supervisor told me to be strategic. She told me that if your goal for the exchange is to look for a postdoc position, it might be good if you go there and arrange a presentation and introduce to others what you have done in your research. And among those professors who attended your presentation and showed interests, perhaps you could go ahead and ask them whether they have a postdoc position available when you graduate. And I thought, well, that's a great idea too. So I went to Harvard with a school in mind. After I arrived, the first thing I did was to arrange a presentation in the department. And yes, I was afraid, worried, shy, and it took a lot of courage to do it in a new place where not a lot of people know me. But um, after I took the step of faith, things just worked out as my supervisor said. The professor I work with right now attended my presentation and showed interests. So regarding some tips and strategies, um, the first, I perhaps I would say that let your future supervisor know you. And this could be done in a couple of different ways. Doing an exchange is pretty common in our department. I observed this in a lot of my postdoc friends here. And it makes sense, right? To let people know you first and you may have a higher chance. But it's not the only way. I also know people who just came here directly without having the exchange program, um, but they may know the supervisor um, from other ways, either through a common friend or some academic communications beforehand. And the key here is really to let your supervisor know you as a person and also know your academic abilities, which could increase the chance. So the second point is about funding. Um, a few people talk about this, but this is a reality. Having an open position is one thing and having funding to support yourself is another thing. So the funding resources I know uh, my friends have are actually mixed. Some brought their funding from their home countries, some with green cards or US citizens obtain various funding resources in the US. Um, others uh, were directly paid by their supervisors from their grants here. It's really mixed. Uh, but funding is definitely one of um, 
the big concerns here. So it would be great when you reach out to your PI, you not only impress him or her with your research ability, but also um, show them that you understand that funding may be a, an issue. And if it is, you're willing to explore funding opportunities with him or her together. There are a number of international fellowship opportunities out there uh, where you need to submit a study proposal similar to study grants. So if your future supervisor would like to support you and brainstorm an idea with you and write recommendation letters for you, the chances to obtain, obtain the fellowship may be higher compared to you applying it alone. And the third thing I would, would like to talk about is about visa. Um, for international students, visa may be a concern, and there are many different visa types in the U.S., and a lot of different conditions you may want to look into it before applying. Um, for example, when I came to the U.S. for the exchange, I was on a J-1 research visa, and I stayed um, slightly more than six months. After I left, I was told that I could not return to the U.S. on J visa again for two years. And I also need to waive the two-year home residency requirement if I don't plan to go back to my home country to serve for two years before starting my postdoc. I waited more than two years anyway due to COVID and uh, something else. But um, if you have a specific timeline in your mind, Definitely make sure you talk to your program manager, HR, international student advisor, or the best immigration attorneys for clarification to make sure that all your visa options and conditions. So for my journey, I actually had many more challenges. For example, due to the U.S. border control, it was hard to apply for visa during COVID. And I had to apply for exemptions and all to travel to the U.S. during COVID. And as I mentioned that I actually waited for three years before coming back for my postdoc again. And during this time, it wasn't easy because there were a lot of other choices along the way. And it took a lot of persistence and patience to wait and also to focus on my goal and telling myself what I really want and what I wanted. And I really enjoy my life here. Harvard has a lot of wonderful educational resources and people I met here are so wonderful. The atmosphere is very collaborative. People are kind, humble, open-minded, and I learned a lot from interacting with friends here. So some um, last encouragement that I could um, conclude from my personal journey is perhaps first dare to dream and believe in yourself. Because if I never set it as my goal, I would never work hard for it. And the second might be to be strategic and think what are available ways that you could try to reach your goal. Um, third is that for researchers, publications are very important and they are key to impress your future supervisor on your research ability. So definitely um, need to work hard in your PhD and try to publish well. And the last point, perhaps um, a few people talk about it, is that when we set our goals for a postdoc, the research interest is as important as a school name. Because after we finally arrive here, we need to work on the topic every day. And if we don't really like what we do, we may not feel very happy. And along this journey, it may get hard sometimes to have a clear understanding of what we want and why we want it could help us to persist when it gets difficult. And I'm very grateful for all the help I received and all the angels I met who helped me, encouraged me, opened doors for me and made it possible. And my PhD supervisor always encouraged us to pay the love forward and be generous to others. So I hope that by sharing my experience, it could be helpful to you or someone around you. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope this video is helpful in some way. Hope you all can achieve your goal and realize your dream. God bless you.